Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me, Victoria. Today I have tea in the deep blue sea, which is my new mug from an aquarium in Hastings called the Blue Reef Aquarium. And there will be a video of my visit coming this week which is really exciting. It'll be my first aquarium visit video for you all, which there's some black tip reef sharks in it. So it's going to be really exciting. It was an absolutely amazing day. So today's video, I am going to be restarting a sea monkey tank. So this isn't something that you have to do. This is something that um, hopefully you will never have to do, but in case you do, here is how you do it. So basically I'm going to be restarting a sea monkey tank where all of my sea monkeys have died. I gave it a considerable amount of time to make sure there was no eggs or anything like that because even though pregnant females are dead, the eggs can still hatch. But no, sadly nothing did hatch. So what I'm doing is cleaning out the tank and restarting it, ready to start a new colony of sea monkeys. So with your normal sea monkey tanks, you don't have to clean them out and you shouldn't clean them out unlike with fish tanks. So this is what I'm going to be doing today, is restarting a sea monkey tank. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my link is down in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. So this is my setup for cleaning out the pirate tank here. Old tank, nothing's alive in it. You've got a lot of detritus in here. I just want to give it a bit of a clean. And also this ornament out of my other brine shrimp tank. It's got a lovely coating of uh, green algae all over it. So I just want to give them a bit of a clean. So we've got a few tools here. Got a box of swabs. And in my cleaning box, I've got some orthodontal brushes for between braces which are handy for getting in little parts and just a spare head for the cleaner. So this is the cleaning tool I'm going to use. It is a water flosser designed for teeth. However, it's a tank cleaner now. And it's very clearly marked, not for teeth. Tanks only, not for teeth. So that's what we're going to do. So I filled this up with just standard tap water. As you can see there, it's just full of tap water, just to give everything a rinse off. So what we're going to do first is just move these bits out of the way. I'm going to move that out of the way. So this is where we start. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off here and empty this out into another container like so. I don't want to put, because it has got some extra additional rocks in here, and I don't want to put those down the drain, and there are some dead sea monkeys in there, I don't just want to put those down the drain. So I'm putting those in here so anything doesn't block up the drain, and so it can be preserved. It's just in a little, uh, just a little container that I keep specifically for this purpose, so it doesn't go in with the foodstuffs. And you can see in the bottom of the tank there, there's some detritus and doesn't look very nice at all. There you go. So I'm just going to add a little bit of warm water. Just swirl that around a little bit. And then pour that out as well. So I'm cleaning this tank because it is an old tank. Let's see, there's still some rocks left in there. You don't usually need to clean sea monkey tanks, but you can sort of follow this process if you need to four sea monkey tanks, but I will do a video on that in the future. So I've got all of the rock out of there, so it's just the tank, but you can see it's got, got some salt deposits in there and around the bottom there. So I'm just going to move that out the way to start with. I'm just going to give it a rinse with warm water. It's important not to use any soap. What you can do is put the lid back on. And sort of give it a shake. It can just go down the drain. You can see, can't see particularly well, but you can get bits caught up in here and around the bottom. So it's nice just to give it a bit of a thorough clean. So how we do that.
you can see it's looking nice and clean in there and there's no chance for anything to be caught up I'll just give that a quick rinse prop that back in there just give it a rinse round use your hand a little bit make sure there's nothing stuck to the sides and I like to go back in on a lower power and just sort of generally squirt down the sides a clean tank and for the top just rinse that off under the tap you can see there uh, I've got a nice clean tank ready to go so leave that to dry so I'm now going to be restarting my ghostly galleon. So I have everything I need here to do that all in my shrimpy box, which is rainbow and labelled and oh so pretty and organised. So let's move that out of the way and open the box. So first of all, we are going to need some water purifier. Packet number one. And we are going to need some eggs, which is packet number two. Although we don't put these in straight away, we wait 24 hours. I also have various other things in here. I've got purifier, food, vitamins, banana treats, plasma, grow quick, spirulina, yeast, cleaning stuff, syringes, sea diamonds, eggs and salt mix, various brine shrimp eggs, fairy shrimp eggs, airline swabs, air stones, cleaning stuff, syringes, everything in my pretty rainbow shrimpy box, which is all labelled and organised. And the labels, you can see them this way, and you can see it when you stand them back up, because I'm obsessed with stationery and organising, and I had to label them all. So it's all so pretty, and it's rainbow. If you do want to see me go through this box, please say yes. Please say yes, I want to show off my rainbow box. Um, let me know down in the comments and I will give you a tour. So, the Ghostly Galleon, my awesome, awesome vintage tank. So now we've cleaned it out, what we're going to go and do is fill it up with distilled water. There's actually a fill line on this one, but I tend to go about a couple of centimetres from the top. So around here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some distilled water that I've made myself, that I'll post a link at the top for you to be able to do yourself at home, which is really, really simple. So distilled water. Fill that up. And we're going to add packet number one, which is the water purifier. This neutralises the poisonous metal oxides like copper oxide that come from copper plumbing and other harmful elements such as chlorine and fluoride, both of which are known aquarium killers. This is why using distilled water is best. Just going to use a pipette just to give that a little bit of a mix around. So now we wait 24 hours before adding the live instant eggs. So I'm just going to pop that back there for now and we shall wait. So that was how to restart a sea monkey tank. I hope you have learned something. I hope you never have to do this, but if you do, I hope this helps. I know I've got lots of fancy equipment to do it with. You can just do it with hot water, but I do advise using the equipment to get a deeper clean but if you've got any questions at all let me know down in the comments and i'll be happy to help you with those i love helping people and especially when it comes to sea monkeys i am here for all of your questions thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye for now bye